Old wax sitting idle and heavy in my veins, like a copper snake. You hold me like rigor mortis, like an iron coat, warm as the earth in all of its eternity. I'd have held my last breath forever just to keep hearing you speak. I'd have professed the love that exists beyond my mortal body. If only this thread did not seal my lips shut. If only this cotton did not plague my mouth to once fill my cheeks to give the illusion of life. If only I could. I would, I would, I would, I would pull the cotton through the maggot holes in my cheeks, tear, shake the stiffness from my limbs, and tear apart the rotting casket just to tell you. <laughs> I snapped the string with our wedding ring once I reached the surface, you know, the sun. I gaze at it through fingers stripped to near bone, yet it shine as dim in the light of your memory. Darling, I cry, not knowing my tongue is more larvae than muscle, and my throat is so rotted I sound like <sighs> I'm drawn to you like a moth, fighting in its way to the last warm light through a sea of ink. I have tunnel vision. The others around me are like ghosts, invisible, unrecognizable, each lost in their own trek. Darling, I'm so close now, I can smell you. Heart, I can almost hear your heart beat. Are you as excited to see me as I am to see you? Please, let me in, it's me. Let me hold you, let me see you. <sighs> Darling, let me in, please, I love, bang. Her hands are shaking as the door slams closed, her brother yelling at her for opening it in the first place. She won't apologize, she can't. She couldn't have just let him suffer like that. He pushes her towards the kitchen and with shaking breaths, she puts the gun back in its holster and her wedding ring on the counter.